Really, Cartoon Network? Really? Alright, what's up, y'all? Nicholas Blocks are here. I don't know why my head was all the way down there. Because um, I switched my computer around, but it's not. Let's talk about that. Um, it's Nicholas Blocks are here. Today, I'm going to be talking about Cartoon Network and the new pop of girl. Sorry, I can't help tilt my head like that, turn my computer's uh, monitor around, because there was too much light coming from my window and I didn't want to close it, so I just twisted it around, kind of, it's better, so sorry if you see my head tilting like that a bit, uh, it's, it's just weird, so, today I'm going to be talking about the Pop-Off Girls coming back in 2016, now if you haven't already, here is the Vine video that Cartoon Network released of the Pop-Off Girls new voice actors. Hi, I'm Amanda Layton, and I play the character Blossom in the new Powerpuff Girls coming to Cartoon Network in 2016. Hi, my name is Kristen Lee, and I play Bubbles on the new Powerpuff Girls coming to Cartoon Network in 2016. Hey, I'm Natalie Palamides, and I play Buttercup on the new Powerpuff Girls coming to Cartoon Network in 2016. Great, you saw that video, and if you're like me, you're like, what? Okay, first of all. The three voice actors, whose names I can't care less about. All I know is that one of their names is Christian, the one who's playing Bubbles. And speaking of Bubbles, why is she playing Bubbles? Why is she playing Bubbles? Cartoon Network, why? I mean, apparently Tara Strong did not know about this. And so when she saw the video, she was pretty upset and heartbroken and all the other things that makes you feel like complete crap. I mean, really hard to know, but that's kind of a dick move if you ask me. I mean, how would you feel if you're just sitting there bored on a Saturday night, and then you're on Vine or whatever, and you see like pretty much the whole of your class in some kind of giant party, and you're sitting there like, wait, you guys didn't even tell me? That would make you feel like complete crap. That's how Cartoon Network probably made Tara Strong feel. Now, first of all, the three voice actors, let's talk about just all of them. Um, I'm not sure if they were doing their voices as they were talking in the interview, but if they were, they're terrible. Now, I don't think they've shown, like, they've released how they actually sound yet, but Cartoon Network, please do it, because I cannot take the suspense anymore. I have to know how they sound. I mean, first of all, Let's talk about what you guys messed up. You got three new voice actors. Um, I don't know what happened to the voice actors of Blossom and Buttercup, but this is kind of about Tara Strong now. You got rid of Tara Strong for that girl. First of all, I don't even know how good she could play. Because when I read the ch when I um commented on the Vine video on Vine and YouTube, a lot of people were worried about the voice of Bubbles now that Tara Strong is gone. So, I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm kind of worried about this too, but like, what about Buttercup? Now, according to this video I found on YouTube, link will be in the description, um, he's also worried about the voice of Buttercup. He's wondering if whatever her name is can do like a rough tomboy voice for Buttercup and really... I'm worried about Buttercup. I mean, anyone could do a Bubbles voice. I'm not saying I could, but, you know, really, if you're maybe good at voice acting, you could probably try, but, because there's a lot of impersonators on YouTube. If you look up, um, top 50 voice impersonations or whatever, you're going to get a lot of, you know, impersonations of voices. Duh. So, really, Cartoon Nowhere, I don't know where you're going with this decision, but I hope it's a good one. Um, as for Tara Strong, I feel really bad for her. Because that was kind of a dick move. Like, really? Come on. Like, she's already working on Teen Titans Go for you guys. Like, come on now. Teen Titans Go is complete crap. I think it's Cartoon Network. I think Teen Titans Go is Cartoon Network's most hated show. Uh, I think it used to be Clarence, but I'm actually starting to like Clarence a lot. Um, Clarence is really second, like secondary. No one cares about Clarence anymore, I think. I'm not sure. I haven't really heard a lot about it. But I still like it. It reminds me of Edit Eddie, but let me not digress here. 
Cartoon art, um, it's bad enough that you already messed up on the art style. Like, the Pop of Girls had thick lines, and in the new one, it looks like something Mad would animate. Like, you know how Mad does 2D animation sometimes? It seems like something they would animate. Like, I could already imagine them had, having, like, jittery lines. Like, when I saw that picture, and how, like, sloppy the lines were almost, I couldn't help imagine, like, a little bit like an Ed, Ed, Ed Eddie, they jitter. Now, if you have OCD, I'm probably messing you up right now because I'm like, you know, trying to get as centered as possible for y'all. Alright, that's great. So, Cartoon Hour, I don't know where you were going with this decision. It better be a good one. I mean, it's bad enough that, you know, you tried to reboot Teen Titans Go. I'm not sure if you can consider Teen Titans Go as a reboot. Because I hate people saying, oh, it's not like the original Teen Titans. It's not supposed to be like the original Teen Titans. Now, I'm not defending Teen Titans, but I'm just saying, it's not supposed to be like the original. Um, and Cartoon Hour, we're kind of making bad decisions here. I mean, who the hell gets someone to make a show about a show before, and they haven't even watched the show? I mean, f from each episode of Teen Titans Go, I'm seeing, I could already imagine, okay, he's probably at home on YouTube, looking up these videos and, like, making plots about him as he go along. For example, the Jinx and Cyborg thing, I could tell he was on that episode where Cyborg had to go in Hive Academy and, um, disguise himself out. What's his name? Victor Stone or something like that? Or Stone? I don't know. I think Victor Stone was his original name. I'm not sure. Let's see. Cyborg and Jinx. They did have a little bit of chemistry going on there. Uh, you know what? Let's ship it. <laughs> I love Teen Titans. <laughs> but like, really? You could actually tell that he's just looking at each episode as he's going along and just writing scripts about them. Like, I'm actually getting that vibe a lot. But, um, let's not talk about Teen Titans Go. Cartoon Network just better be a good decision. Like, I absolutely love the pop of girls. It better be good. Really. I mean, if it's not good, then... <laughs> you officially lost yourself, a viewer. Because I actually found Cartoon Network to be way better than Nickelodeon. Ever since Nickelodeon, like, got so much money off of Spongebob, they've been putting in some pretty weird shows, like, Fanboy and Chum Chum, and all that other stuff, that was acceptable, you know, I, I actually kind of like Fanboy and Chum Chum, but, um, ever since, like, Adventure Time, yeah, my voice cracked just now, ever since Adventure Time started getting popular, and for those who don't know, the creators of Adventure Time originally gave the, um, pilot or whatever to Nickelodeon, but now, you know, they rejected it, and they gave it to Cartoon Network, and it's making way more money than ever. As well as Bravest Warriors. Bravest Warriors was another idea given to Nickelodeon. They rejected it. It's now on Cartoon Hangover, and it's popular as hell. So, Nickelodeon, you messed up. But what I couldn't help notice is that ever since that happened, they've been making a whole bunch of weird shows. For example, Sanjay and Craig. I mean, I know that was so long ago, but like, Sanjay and Craig, and Breadwinners, and Breadwinners is absolutely terrible. And uh, they even tried to reboot a show. Um, not reboot, but like, they even tried to make a spin off. Of Jimmy Neutron, Planet Sheen, that was terrible. I mean, who rendered that? I just want to know who rendered the models. Like, really, it sucked. It was so bright. It was just disgusting. But once again, not gonna talk about that. So yeah, guys, that's my little rant. Cartoon Network, you messed up. I don't know. I mean, it's one thing if Tara Strong didn't want to do. The voice, like she was busy or something, but like, the fact you didn't even tell her, and like you just got a new voice like that, that's just a giant oh my face. God. I'd be pretty mad too. Oh yeah, and um, one thing people probably didn't notice, the puppy girls have like shorter stockings. Yeah, I'm, I'm a creep for noticing that. And uh, Buttercup also has a cowlick, and uh, Bubbles has Bubbles. I'm such a creep for noticing this. Whatever. So yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks y'all for watching, and uh, love y'all. See ya.